we have the uh, 1973 International Scout. Uh, this is uh, what I've been able to pick up on so far. The panels look uh, pretty straight. I picked up on a little bit of body filler here on the uh, driver door. Anytime I get that reading of 19.7, it's uh, typically an indication that there is some body filler use. Also picked up uh, some here on the quarter panels, but uh, everywhere else I was able to get paint uh, meter readings, which, which surprised me. Typically I see all the panels uh, where I see excessive um, uh, readings. I've already had the engine idling for over 15 minutes or so earlier, and you can just hear a, a backfire. Initially, when it's cold, you don't hear it, but you can hear it now. There it goes. Okay, so um, underneath it looks pretty good. Power steering fluid I checked already. Uh, it seems to be idling pretty good. Don't hear any abnormal noises, uh, like a heavy rod knock or, or uh, valve train noise, uh, so that's good. Uh, brake fluid was in good condition. I've already checked that. Uh, like always, I was concerned about something. Uh, when I pulled uh, the um, the uh, radiator cap, there's that this flood right here. It's kind of like a, a gold or bronze uh, color to it. That's typically uh, some kind of uh, additive that's added to the coolant to, to maybe uh, plug up a, a crack head or something uh, internally. So I've already asked the seller about it and I'll fill you in on that later. Um, but that that was my main concern on this vehicle here. Here coming on the other side. Stand by. Um, and oh, also uh, the um, valve cover. Uh, you can see this. This is uh, loose here. Uh, the, the filler cap here. Um, oil level looked good. As you can hear, I don't hear really. I, I mean, I, I think I hear like the slightest exhaust leak, but uh, really uh, uh, nothing obvious. Uh, pulleys look pretty straight. Don't see any wobbling. And actually, I'll go back over here and uh, go ahead and rev it up just so we can hear it uh, at higher RPMs as well. Okay, so, so far, so good, right? Here at uh, the top of the roof uh, looks good. I already checked the wing window. That works. Uh, this is nice and secure. I like how these doors open and close. Uh, even though there's still a slight drop to it, it's uh, for the most part, uh, pretty solid. Um, doors work good. I already checked the windows. Those work good. I already got you the tag information. Uh, temperature gauge is below half. Oil pressure at half. Alternator showing that's working. And I'll need to verify somehow if the fuel uh, gauge is working. The radio works. Horn works. Windshield wipers work already. I still need to check the uh, the lights and uh, also do the road test. But the interior looks pretty clean, clean and straightforward. Right. Uh, you can see where. There's some uh, rust bubbling here, but it looks like it may have been treated. Um, that we wouldn't know unless we actually stripped it down, but there is just that. Uh, everything else looks good. We've got a little spider there, okay. Spider, and uh, what else here? Everything looks good here. I didn't see any obvious signs of any rust like I've seen on uh, the other ones. Uh, here in the back, the, the rod stays uh, nice and secured. And I've got pictures already with uh, the uh, the cover out of the way. But again, um, obviously there's undercoating, but didn't see any obvious signs of rust like I've seen before. Um, the door locks, uh, I think it's all done by the central uh, alarm system because uh, uh, none of the keys work uh, on the uh, outside, outside doors. Rims and tires look pretty good. I already checked the wheel wells, look pretty straightforward. Underneath, uh, I think I saw a leak there around the transmission area, but I got those in photos for you to look at. And all that's left is the uh, road test. And, uh, oh, the blower fan is not working. So I had no way of checking the heater and there is no AC. All right, that's it.